we just learned that Tesla's full self-driving computer 2, which is known as HW 4.0, hardware 0.40, will be used in Cybertruck and likely in 2022. This means that Tesla aims to launch full self-driving computer 2 with Cybertruck next year. Despite the fact that Tesla vehicles have the necessary hardware to achieve full self-driving, the company is constantly striving to improve. During the AI day a couple of hours ago, Tesla said that that it plans to release a new full self-driving hardware 4.0 which is expected to appear next year for the first time in Cybertruck. While Tesla had no plans to give an informational update on full self-driving's hardware 4.0, a question about the new computer was asked during the AI Day event, reports Tesmanian saying the company CEO Elon Musk said the current hardware 3.0 computer is already capable of full self-driving and safer than human pilot by Tesla once to keep improving. That is why the Tesla AI team is always striving to develop new powerful computers. Hardware 4.0 was the fruit of this desire and it seems that next year the company will launch cars with the new computer on the market. Musk suggested that in 2022 the public will be able to see hardware 4.0 According to him, the iconic Cybertruck will be equipped with the new hardware. Here's what Elon Musk said. He said, I'm confident that hardware 3.0 of the full self-driving computer one will be able to achieve full self-driving at a safety level much greater than a human, probably at least 200 to 300% better than a human. Wow. He also said, obviously, there will be a future hardware 4.0 or full self-driving computer two, which will probably introduce with the Cybertruck, so maybe in about a year or so. Now, with while the spec, uh, specific details of this new hardware, com new supercomputer have not been disclosed by Elon Musk, Musk hinted that it provides about four times the computer power of the HW 3.0, that is, if hardware 3.0 is 300% safer driving a car than a person, then hardware 4.0 will drive a car 1,000 percent safer. What does this mean in numbers? I don't know, but this is what Elon Musk said, friends. That'll be about four times more capable, roughly, but it's really just going to be like, can we take it from, say, for argument's sake, 300 percent safer than a person to 1,000 percent safer? And just like there are people on the road who have varying driving abilities, but we still let people drive. You don't have to be the world's best driver to be on the road says um Elon Musk. Now, what can we make of these friends? Uh, Elon Musk also said, I'm confident that hardware 3 or the full self-driving computer one will be able to full self-driving at a safety level much greater than humans. And again, he spoke about the, uh, the 300 to uh, 200 to 300%. And also, he, Musk was asked the same question about the other parts of full self-driving hardware suite. And he confirmed that Tesla also plans to upgrade the cameras with next generation cameras starting with the Cybertruck. So this will uh, greatly improve the car's uh, vision capability. Now I'm looking at the media, what people think about this. For example, Electric thinks that that's about what was expected for the timing of hardware four, but linking it to Cybertruck is the most interesting part here. And it's interesting for me too, because we didn't know that this was going to come with Cybertruck. For example, we know that Giga Berlin made Model Y will come with uh, Tesla's new uh, uh, battery, uh, 4680 battery cell, which is going to apparently give it more range. But now we didn't know that uh, Tesla's new hardware 4 um, will be linked to Cybertruck and coming next year. Tesla recently confirmed that production of the new electric pickup truck has been delayed to 2022. You remember that I covered that at Torque News YouTube channel. Now Musk did say that they will probably introduce hardware 4 with the Cybertruck maybe in about a year or so. That could be a hint that Tesla doesn't expect to start producing the Cybertruck until the second half of 2022, which is also more realistic timeline. So are you guys ready to wait that long? Um, I'm reading some comments. People say, for example, on their electric story, obviously there will be a hardware 4 or self-driving computer 2, which we will probably 
introduced with the Cybertruck maybe in about a year or so. That will be about four times more a capable roughly. And he says no wiggle room here. And other people say Tesla is still hanging their head on the first one, Hardware 3, which was much harder to design from the ground up and was 20 times more powerful than what it replaced. Hardware 4 is probably one of Tesla's easiest challenges today. Another person replies to that and says, yes, Hardware 3 was truly innovative. The uh, amount of brain power required for such a computer reveals that of all the greatest minds of the 20th century put together 15 times. Hardware 4, Tesla's second uh, supercomputer, will be an even greater accomplishment, but Elon Musk's team of super genius engineers are more than up to the task. Surely the Cybertruck will bring forth a new era of of peace and prosperity to all mankind. Actually, I was reading, uh, re uh, reading this comment and I have no idea how the Cybertruck is going to bring peace. Um, prosperity maybe, but I don't know about peace because peace is something, an inside job. That's uh, about how you can control your passions and how you can do self-control of yourself. And uh, so, friends, what do you think about this? Let me know your thoughts. Some people say Elon Musk said some months ago that the next generation of the full self-driving computer would use newer technology, which I interpreted to mean smaller future size from TSMC. Such a change should allow the full self-driving computer to draw less power and or run faster, I think. Um, so, and other people say he has to do that. Otherwise, people use what he said as a 100% commitment that what's going to happen, which he can't know for sure as nobody has ever done that before. Uh, also, other people are asking, why does he make ridiculous statements then nearly weekly that something is coming next week or next month or in two weeks or by the end of this year, full self-driving was supposed to exist in 2017, then 2019, then 2020. And then at the beginning of this year, he said it would be level five by the end of 2021. None of those things are even remotely true. Agree? So, you know, I, I saw in Market Watch this morning, morning a story saying please don't focus on this announcement uh, on dancing robots or something i would rather need to focus on the real problems and truly i see friends in the media i see more and more people saying that they already don't take Elon Musk's word that something is coming next week or next year or ne uh, for uh, for very seriously, but they take it with a grain of salt. But I, you know, while I agree with that, to be honest with you, but we also know that um, it is very difficult to achieve these things. So he keeps the excitement by making these announcements. So we'll see how things will go. Uh, friends, let me know what your thoughts are and what do you think about Cybertruck coming realistically in the second half of 2022 and coming with full self-driving computer too with some great capabilities hopefully this timeline will be uh, kept this is armin harian from torchnews.com please subscribe to our channel for daily announcements and news like this about tesla and electric vehicles and also give us thumbs up please if you found this report interesting and helpful i'll see you soon in our next report god bless you everyone and peace be with all of you